Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Quickly Castlevania The Adventure for the PS4 and Game Boy. I'm Sam TX, and when we last left off, we defeat Stage 3. This is the last stage of the game. So let's go. What is in store for us? Apart from waiting to murder Dracula, because that's what we do in Castlevania games. Murder Dracula. I mean, the guy is always the target, so... Gotta beat him, as I look backwards, because enemies do appear out of these statues here. They do, see? You be careful, just get your whip out and whip them. Yep, I'm always gonna have my back, see what I mean? Always gonna have my back facing them. Because I'm ready for when it happens. Alright, so let's get going. Man, one of the worst things about Game Boy games is the lag. Like the absolute slowdown. See, as you can see, the game's slowing down just a bit. Tend to do that quite often, actually, more than you think, which is kind of where well, it was frustrating as a child. And um, as you get older playing it, it just looks bad. You know, nobody likes slowdown. Go hit you. There we go. Nobody likes a slowdown. Nobody likes a game slowing down either. It's really annoying. But hey. We're gonna, we're gonna um, keep going. And that's the fire. Let's not get burnt. As I say that, I got burnt. Meaning, I do... Oh, God. Meaning, I don't... Oh, my God. Meaning, I don't have my whip anymore. <laughs> I was about to finish my sentence, then I kept get. I was about to finish my sentence, then I kept getting hit. Whenever I try to finish my sentence, I get hit. This part normally I do well, but today it seems to be an off day. I've got to admit one thing with this game. Despite it being short, it has some good music to it. But let's get going. Climb up. Hi. Ah. Bloody fire. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go, you're dead. There should be health somewhere, actually. It's not here. <laughs> no, that's money. I think health is up there. And so is a whip upgrade, actually. I'm kind of annoyed that I lost my whip upgrade very early. Because, um, you know. There we go, that's health. And this should be the whip upgrade. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that I lost it very early. Because normally I tend to do well. In this part of the um, final level. But seems today this game is trying to say. Ha! You do well? Nah. You're going to flop today boy. And I have kind of botched quite a bit. So yeah. It's kind of a tough thing to do. I love how it, it looks like he's flexing. The way I was climbing up the rope. Like see look flexing. Flex, flexing them biceps. So the Belmont family is known for having whips and flexing their biceps. Oh, and moonwalking down some stairs. If you play Super Castlevania, that is. You can moonwalk down some stairs. If you guys remember the last time I played that game. If not the much games anyway. The much games I beat it legit. But huh, the, the, um, the first time I revisited the game on stream. Oh boy. It took me quite some time to beat. Because I was terrible at it. I was struggling. Of course it's live, so... Maybe um, I was trying my best not to look bad, but end, oh, but end up looking bad. One thing I wasn't a fan of in this game is this. Look, I've got no, I got no um, whip power whatsoever because I've lost it. Every time you get hit, you lose the whip. I didn't like that because um, as a kid, it made the game much harder. But yeah, beat you five times, you're dead. Now let's climb up. Looks like we're getting closer to the end of the level. Oh god. See, this is why I said I need my whip. Look at this. Go destroy this. There we go. And you. Good, good, good. Now get up close and in person. There we go. Now let's climb up. As we flex our muscles climbing up this rope. Duck. Jump. I think we have to hit this guy five times because we don't have no whip. Otherwise it would have reverted down to three. But it's okay. I suppose I have no choice but to accept it, eh? 
There is some whip power up there, but if you try and risk it, I think you will die get hurt. So I'm not going to bother. Yeah, see, I tried, but then I failed. It's not often you're going to succeed. While trying to get things. Alright, let's jump up. Uh, jump up. Jump. Oh! That hurts, man. Alright, so at least we got our health back, which is good. <laughs> right, jump down, and then climb down. Right, one, two, three. Okay, we have to time this, so... Let's see. Time... Go. I think... Well, not yet. There we go. Now we go. Now we jump. Quick. Oh! Okay. Yeah, if I went a bit earlier than what I was planning, I would have definitely died, so that kind of sucks. One. I think I've got to hit this guy about five, six times, so that's three. Oh, we've got to hit him about... Eight times! Because we don't have no whip, otherwise it would have reverted down to five. There we go, pick up some health, I can't complain. One, two, three, ow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, Ow, six, seven, eight. There we go. Had to be a bit... Had to cheat there. I had to take the hit. Otherwise, I would have been there all day. This is why I rather... Oh, God. Oh, come on. Please give me that. Oh, no. No, not the health. Please, 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 please. Yes. Ha, <laughs> ha. I thought the health was going to disappear, but it didn't. Oh. Down here. Oh, it looks like um, I think you might get health upgrade, whip upgrade. Let's see. That's health. Oh, we got full health. Oh, whip upgrade. What's this money? Of course it is. <laughs> He's got a whip back. And as we go down here, this is actually the final boss fight. Yep, once you grab that, you are going to encounter Dracula. Okay. Oh, jeez. I should have expected that pattern. Okay. This is going to be like a test of me, ouch, a test of me getting battered. Ow. <laughs> I'm actually going to die here. I've only just noticed this pattern. Oh, God. I've only just about noticed this pattern. Let's try again. Got nothing to lose. Let's go down. There we go. Attack. Attack again. Thank you. And then again. Thank you. So this time we're gonna. This time we do have a bit of a study pattern with the um, first. Obviously, Dracula is gonna have more than one form. I think he has two in this game. So let's try and whip him there. Up. Oh, As I said, I've established his pattern. I get hit early, so meaning I've lost the whip. So yeah, not ideal. You need. I. You, I. Well, I was about to say I recommend, but yeah, you obviously do need your whip. Not, not the first stage, but you at least do need the second stage of your whip so that you can actually hit him and do damage. One damage every time, because if you do less than one damage, you're screwed. Oh, okay. See, look, it's not doing much damage. I have to hit him twice to take a bar, and then I hit the spikes in this immediate death. See what I mean? God, I don't want to die in the final hurdle, but that seems to be my thing. Because in the Matcha Games Guides, I actually was on my final life in Super Castlevania before I actually beat the game. Like, when I played it, like, the entire levels, like, I did good. But then I got to the final stage and I literally lost all my lives to zero and I beat the game. Alright, let's go. Okay, so far so good. Just jump and every time... You can get a list, uh, at least three hits on him. So yeah, do try and get three to four hits on him. <laughs> Without losing your whip, obviously. And now we have to go under here. Or we can go somewhere. Ouch. Okay, I think I've established this pattern. And if you hear the sirens again, I do apologise. But I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And, um... If you heard some sirens before I um, s um, did the transition, um, then I do apologize. There's nothing I can do. It's always with this game that I, there's always some sirens. Like last time, last part, there were sirens when I was recording this game, and again today. But let's beat this boss, Dracula. Here we come. This time we mean it. We're going to beat you for good. 
Okay, well, not for good. We can't beat you for good because of the fact that, well, obviously, um, you keep coming back, Dracula. Every time we kill you, you just keep on coming back. You just need to learn to stay dead. All right, we need to go this way. All right, there we go. I finally found a pattern after I died like three times, but that's okay. Now we just throw our whip from close range here. And there we go. So that's stage one. This is the final stage. We want to keep a head start ahead of Dracula, and you want to destroy the bats. So he's just going to keep spawning bats. Hopefully I don't get much damage done to me. Best thing is the bats keep flying off the screen. There we go. Just stay here for now. Unless he does, um, unless he sets a group of bats. I was about to say how two he sets a group of bats right next to you. Two more hits and he's gone. One more hit. And Dracula is gone. Yes. <laughs> oh no. The cars are falling. We must get out of here. Okay, castle's breaking down. There we go. And there we are, standing outside. As the castle breaks down and gets buried six feet under. We celebrate in victory. Stuff. Programmer. Uh, staff? Programmer. Okay. The staff is a programmer. Why Yamada? M. Megawa. Right, we're not, we're not gonna read the Japanese names. Well, we, I do tend to read them, but, um, very quick game. Um, I say that this one, obviously for Game Boy games, sometimes the first entry to a specific game doesn't go well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm going to put this one in the does not go well category. I only say that because it's slow. Um, yeah, the gameplay is quite slow. And it lags a lot. And that's one of the big issues with this game. I can see why it got negative um, press compared to the second game. Plus, i got one more thing to ask with this game. Because Castlevania is known for doing it. Where was my sub-weapon? I mean, that was the biggest flaw in this game, is that there was no sub-weapon. Where was it? Like, no axe, no holy water, nothing? Just me and the whip and a projectile. Like, no. Huh? Okay, Dracula is alive. Of course Dracula is alive. Flying away from the scene of the crime. Because of course he is. The end. Dracula is gone. And I think just like every other Castlevania game, this game does go back to the first stage. Because it did it with the first game. I don't think it did it with Simon's Quest. Or the third one, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we start stage five. You mean stage one? You're not fooling me, game! And we're not doing this, so... Yeah, we're done with this Let's Play. Because we're not doing this again. Because we've already beaten the game. Will I do the second Castlevania right away? Maybe. I'll see you guys in the next episode or next Let's Play. Until next time, goodbye.